So now we're making this video because I, I think it's going to be of help to many people. It's kind of uh, difficult really to understand what happened. Now let's have a look at the at the pictures first. So I received these pictures. I'm only assuming this is the, the picture of immediately after the, the second treatment. And we're going to listen in. And apparently you see this before here. As uh, just before. The two weeks post seems to be two weeks after the first treatment and which the results seem to be amazing three weeks after um, reverted back to the beginning so I get a different story so, so this picture tells a story which you can guess I don't know whether you guess right or wrong but the what I hear from um, the explanation is a bit different so I think this is the before and after. Again, it's just a, a bit difficult to tell. Um, this is, I assume, is it immediately after the the second treatment. And now, um, let's, let's listen in first and see what we understand. Andreas, I wonder if you can help us here. Um, this is Susan Matton, one of the girls that was also at your workshop. She says, can she, can we please help her? Because she did plasma on this lady and then she came back for a second session um, when that had all healed and what have you. She came for a second session. After the first session, you could definitely see a big improvement. And then after she did her second session on her, it went back what it was before she ever had had done um, so she can't understand why why it's gone back to what it was uh, originally it's lost it's it's lost the the skin tightening could you explain why this could happen i asked her to send us her immediately after photos as well so that you can see how she did her plasma spots thanks andreas uh, can you please clarify um because I've got before, two weeks, and three weeks. So are you saying that between the week two and week three, there's been a going back after one treatment? Can you please clarify again? Um, please repeat uh, so that I have it, I understand it right. And what device was used for it? look then I receive yeah then I send this one because this is exactly what is confusing to me this is this picture is confusing to me I think I understand what you're saying but I'm trying to clarify this picture because the, from this picture I get an, a different different story so before two weeks after the treatment and three weeks after the same treatment so I want to make sure I do get the, the right story about this case. I think you said something else. I'm just waiting for her reply, Andreas, so I can get this information for you. And I would advise anyone who does these treatments to please get a camera there and they do everything. Yeah, she's not answering her message. I've tried to phone her too. I think she might be busy on a client. But um, basically what she said is she did this client. Um, she came back after it had all healed with amazing results. I'm just trying to clarify how long she waited before she did the second um, treatment. Um, but then she, she did do a second treatment. And two weeks after the second treatment, they were amazing results. But the third photograph you're seeing is six weeks after the second plasma treatment. It's just reverted back to what it was. Hi Nora, I must say I had great results with all my previous clients, especially for the upper eyelid lifts up to now. This is the first time this happens to me. Okay, so I'm using the maglev pen. Uh, we did the second treatment two, eight weeks after the first treatment and my aftercare regime on all clients currently are the use of uh, silver core uh, for 48 hours post-treatment followed by aloe vera uh, thereafter. Thinking so much because I'm really desperate to help the client. Now, um, it's kind of... Uh, 
is, 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 is a, an inveg, in, investigative job here. Um, now, I do not, um, I haven't actually used as much this maglev thing. But from the experience that I have, and also from if you actually look at the um, online course that we've got, which is free of charge on Voltaic Plasma, there's something called the inflammation periods of the long term healing. And likely, likely, I cannot tell for sure, um, here maybe a very high intensity treatment was used. Likely, I cannot tell for sure, because you can only determine with um, the intensity of the treatment by looking at the treatment itself, not the pictures after. Because the, the as you remember, intensity of the treatment is determined by the duration of the of the arc, how powerful the arc was, and the distance between the spots. So we do not know duration and intent and in the the power level of that device. So there's two parameters that we do not know by looking at the picture. So the only thing I can actually guess by looking at the picture is only a guess is that very is likely I'd say we are dealing with um, an inflammation, a long term inflammation due to a high, very high intensity treatment. But that's not a hundred percent sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure because I do not. I, couldn't see the treatment done. This is why I just mentioned, please, anyone, um, please video the treatment, because only then you can actually tell how the treatment was carried out. Uh, because just look at the after pictures means absolutely nothing, unfortunately. Uh, it could be anything. Um, so hopefully that answers the question. So it is likely that this is due to a an inflammation with which leads to laxity a few weeks after the treatment uh, and then if you go through our online training on voltaicplasma.com all is published over there so you can actually review that uh, lesson on voltaic plasma also we've got a number of videos now that detail this phenomenon and this is why we actually talk about in our online training which is free of charge and nobody else talks about it so it is likely due, due to that. However, I um, cannot actually be sure 100% because on, I, don't, I do not have all the information I would actually like to have and neither do I have the information about how this maglev device was designed and the circuitry because it changes from one device to another. So hopefully that answers that question. And um, Yes, I've seen uh, worse things uh, from other people sending me pictures. So... She should not be as worried, at least she's not scarred, at least it's not something really bad. So she went back to, to, previous, uh, to the previous uh, self, which is not the worst thing uh, that could have happened. So um, I would advise for now, just let, let it be, do not do any more treatments um, and just uh, go back and try again if the client wishes um, at least six months after, just wait a long while, let the area completely, completely forget about the, the treatment and um, maybe try again later. So thank you for watching.